Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 20. And in this blog post, I'm going to give you the basic understanding about the X axis of the stack bar chart. So let us start. As you can see that on Y axis, I have various products. And uh, on X axis, I have a unit price of these products. So let's start like what kind of changes or how we can actually play with the unit price when it is actually on the x-axis. So when we will actually go to the x-axis, uh, this axis, axis is available under the format tab of the visual. So when you will click on this, you will get the x-axis option. And when you expand it, you will actually get various sub options. So let us discuss them one by one. So first option is scale type. This one is linear and then there is another one which is actually log. So what is actually linear and what is actually log? So first we will discuss about the linear. Linear means like uh, a basic price which is actually starting from the zero uh, and then there will be various set of units, unit prices for each product, right? So with respect to those uh, unit prices, you will actually get a lengthy bar like and uh, uh, on the x axis these prices are actually linearly uh, are actually linearly divided like uh, and it is auto calculated with respect to the maximum amount uh, which is actually present in the visual so right now uh, it actually created a linear series uh, after uh, automatically analyzing the data on the uh, x axis about the unit prices, whatever that data is. And it actually has created uh, uh, seven different intervals. And each interval is basically separated with like 500 va uh, value of the $500, which is actually starting from the zero. Then there's a 500, then there's a 1000, then there's 15,000, then 20, then 25,000 and th uh, 3000 and then 3500. And, there, there, and after that, there is no other value. It means like the maximum value is either $3,500 or it is actually between the $3,000 and the $3,500. And I think this is the maximum value, which is three to six. Which, that is why you are getting the upper limit of the $3,500. So one way is to showcase your data with respect to the linear scaling. It will auto calculate the maximum and the minimum value and then it will create the intervals and then it will distribute those uh, values along the x-axis after that then there is a scale type of the log so when you will actually click on the log it will give you the values with respect to the 10 raised to power like 10 raised to power naught is one so 10 raised to power naught or the zero means dollar one then there is a 10 raised to power one, which is equal to $10. Then the other one is $100, which is actually 10 raised to power two. And then the series will move on and move forth. And uh, it, uh, right now, it means like the maximum value is 10 raised to power three, which is like equivalent to the $10,000. Uh, $10, so here, the values are actually distributed with respect to the uh, logarithmic uh, with, with respect to the log, uh, log values. So here, uh, distribution is present, but it is with respect to the log. And the log is not of another value. It is the log of the 10, which is which actually means 10 raised to power, starting from the 10 raised to power zero till 10 raised to power. And, and this all the, the whole X axis is basically created uh, by the uh, by analyzing the data that is provided to the Power BI, so uh, you really you really don't need to create these intervals. That will be automatically uh, created. Then there is uh, I really would like to switch back to the linear because uh, further values will uh, further properties will be very easy to explain with respect to that. Then there is a start. So first one is. Uh, start means like 
you would like to showcase a value of like uh, uh, a road 150 red 48 this is a product right so you would like to showcase the value of this uh, a product but it is actually accumulating various unit prices that are actually uh, uh, th that is, uh, this is actually accumulating the unit prices of all the uh, units of the road uh, 150 red 48 product. Uh, and now you would like to see like uh, you would like to slice the data, like you would like to <clears throat> see the data from a certain point. Now, for example, I don't want to see the data between zero and 500, right? I would like to see the data uh, all the products which actually lies between 2000 and onward. So I can actually see, I will, I will, I will write 2000 over here and see all the products who have the values less than 2000 are disappeared. Now you can't see those, none of them, right? And you can only see those products which are actually lying beyond the 2000. Like the minimum value is still there. So zero is still there, but the value of the bar actually maximizes uh, above the 2000, right? Which is for this, it is actually 3,326, right? Now, what does the end mean? Now, if I say that I would like to see the data, like which is which is going to end uh, within like 2400. So what will happen? So right now, it has given me the uh, it has given me the products which actually lies with uh, whom whom bars or the whom unit prices actually lie between the 2000 and 2400. Now, uh, let's say that I would like to see it in between uh, 2200. Uh, to, sorry, 2150. So right now I am actually getting all the, these products. So uh, let us have another example. Now I say that I would like to see the starting point as 2600. So I am going to put over here and I will get only those products whose bar are actually maximizing from the 2600 over here, right? And now if I would like to see the end of like uh, 27. So it is showcasing me the values which are of those bars uh, which are actually lying between the 2600 and 2700. Again, um, I can actually invert the axis. Uh, let me clear that one. So here I can actually invert the axis by inversion means like I will get the same visual, but starting value will be starting from the Right, for the dashboard, sometimes it is very useful, but uh, not all the time. So uh, you can actually utilize this uh, invert, uh, inversion axis as per your need. Uh, uh, next one is coloring. So if I say like, I would like to choose, uh, let's suppose pink, dark pink. So it will change the color of the text to the pink and I can actually increase the size of the text by clicking on the text size. So it's getting increased. I can also uh, choose the phone family as per my need. I have various phone options available over here. So I can actually choose the product as it is actually appealing to my audience or the users. Uh, again, I can actually go, uh, go and opt for the bold like for example, I can actually bold these values of the x-axis. I can make them italic. I can actually give them an underlying look. 
Now there are dis display units. These are actually normally automatically calculated. You can actually give them none. None means is actually the same as auto. And then you can actually, uh, you can actually utilize the display units in thousands, millions, millions, trillions. So when you will actually convert them into thousand, it means like all the values which are coming over here, they are actually automatically uh, change to the uh, million, uh, sorry, thousands, million, and uh, it will be automatically calculated with respect to the display universe. So for example, if I say trillion, so it has automatically converted the value on the of the unit price to the trillion. Right now it is showcasing 0 0.0000 trillion. The main value is there, but it is not showcasing you right here right now because uh, the original value is far uh, is near to zero when we talk about uh, in trillions so that's why it is showcasing trillion but the uh, but the companies who have billions of revenue uh, or even millions they can actually showcase the trillion uh, next one is the title the property is related to the title so when i will click on the title uh, when i will click on the title as an off the title will be not here anymore. Uh, when I will click on, click back it to the on, I can actually get this. So style option, style option is like show the show title only option. So you have no more option available over here in future. Uh, Microsoft will provide uh, style options. So again, the tile, uh, title color, so you can actually choose any color that as it pleases you. Uh, access title, like if you would like to give the X access title over here, you can actually give them. So let's assume like I am giving like values over here. So the default value is changed to the value, the text value that I have given. So also I can actually increase the size Again, uh, I would like to put it back to the unit price. So let's see if I would like unit price over here. Uh, again, you can actually choose the font family. Uh, it could be anything as per your liking, as per your audience liking. And again, you can actually change, uh, you can actually give them a bold look. Uh, why is it not coming over here? It should be showcasing me. Okay. So uh, you can actually uh, uh, have bold. You can actually change the title to the bold. You can give it an italic look. You can also underline it as per your uh, need. Uh, next one is the grid line option. So I can turn it on and I can also turn it off. So what is actually happening over here? So in order to visualize this, uh, let me change the line color to the more appealing uh, color. Let's assume like I would like to give them an orange and strike with, I need to increase. And you will see that there are dotted lines that are actually uh, present now, no, right now. So, uh, this is the dotted line. It is actually showcasing the uh, ranges. Uh, it is actually showcasing like where the bar is actually getting intersected at a certain price, like 2000. So this point is basically for this bar, like for the, this product, Mountain 100 Black 42. At this point, the value is 2000. Uh, at this point, the units actually have 1500 value. And then at this point, the value is 1000. So I have various uh, line styles as well, like solid, if I would like to see uh, the correct, um, I would like to have, uh, uh, I would like to see the values, but in a one glance, I really don't want to think I will utilize the line style. I have the dotted and the dash as well. So this is the dotted one and this is the dash one. So not a bit much difference. So you can actually change that, and if you and if you if you don't want to put it 
you can actually uh, uh, you can actually turn the your green lights off. So this is all about the understanding the x-axis properties of the stack bar chart. I hope so. You have understood uh, the concept.